and December upgrade has arrived. So let's see what's inside, yes? Hello there, welcome. My name is Romy and if you like artsy videos, haul and unboxing, consider subscribing to the channel. And well, this month my upgrade box totally threw me off by arriving on the day it's usually shipped and it felt like a small Christmas miracle. And as always it came with a nice sticker sheet and because of the season we also receive a greeting card straight from Captain Crate. The artist or co-captain of the month, if you want to check her social out, is Sweeney Boo. If you don't know what Upgrade is, it is a monthly mystery art supply subscription box from Germany. And this month, not only it arrived early, it was also jam-packed full of stuff. We got a 20-sheet Bristol paper pad from Talents, a pen touch permanent ink pen from Sakura, a Pigma brush pen bold black, a Micron 005 fine liner, a Koinor H pencil, and not one, not two, but six Winsor and Newton alcohol-based Pro marker. Before swatching all my goodies, I quickly flipped through and read a bit the battle posts that every month seems to be featuring more artists with tips, stories and interview, which I really appreciate. I also really liked the new inspiration radar at the end of the post where you can find some artists specialized in the month's medium, so to speak. And finally, we have the prompt for this month upgrade battle, which is love has no color. And now for the swatches and let's talk a bit more about the supplies. The Talents paper pad is a smooth 240 grams size A5 Bristol paper that is quite versatile. I think it could be really uh, nice for using with uh, ink and um, as well as pencils and colored pencils and obviously with any kind of markers. The pencil, well, not much to say there, just that is a good pencil to go with markers as I think you all know the Micron fine liners. They are probably the most popular fine liners ever. So, but what I never saw before is the BB Pigma brush pen and it's really interesting. The brush tip is really nice and flexible and yeah, you can get some nice variation. Also, the ink is waterproof, which is Great. Then the pen touch um, in fluorescent orange. Well, what to say? I just love it. Is fluorescent first of all, and in the bottle post it says that the special ink lights up under black light. I mean, yeah. Now the Winsor & Newton we received are some Pro markers and some brush markers. Apparently we all got the two greys markers and the berry red. The other three were sent uh, a bit randomly with um, bright tones and I feel quite lucky as I received the same colors the co-captain used in her artwork. Um, I got the cyan and the yellow plus a nice blush color. So this time I decided to play a bit with the supplies and explore the prompt of the upgrade battle a bit. I'm not sure I'll end up posting this piece for the challenge on Instagram. If you are curious, you can follow me there. The link is in the description. But yeah, I sketched two girls and uh, I then used the Micron fineliner over the sketch. 
I then switched to the P BB Pigma brush pen and I really enjoy using this uh, this pen. I'll definitely get some use out of it. It's, uh, I don't know, it just gives me some looseness uh, for some reason and being waterproof, well, it obviously gives you a lot to room to play with mixed media um, pieces and, you know, maybe use it with watercolors and whatnot. So yeah, I'll definitely have some fun with it. After trying the BB brush pen, I started coloring in with the, the, the markers. I, I really stopped before I finished all the lines with the uh, Pigma brush pen because uh, for some reason I was worried that the waterproof and I mean it would smudge with the inks, uh, the alcohol based inks, but it, it didn't. It really held up good um, under the, uh, the markers and that's, well, that's great. The Winsor & Newton Pro Markers I've been wanting to try for years now. I always put them in the baskets before I make orders in, you know, art supply stores online and everything, but I never end up uh, buying them because, well, they're not so they're not expensive uh, but yeah because i do have some other alcohol markers and i don't use them so so much i just feel you know i want them but i'm not sure if i can justify buying them for some reason and but yeah i'm really happy i could try them they are really nice marker as i expected and they actually made me want to um, use alcohol markers a bit more in the future, really. Plus, the only reason I don't tend to reach for them when I'm using my sketchbook is because of the uh, bleeding through and, you know, you don't get to use both sides of the pages, but that's really easily solved and I normally prime pages with my leftover gouache or acrylic anyways so by doing that you wouldn't really see the markers on the other side so that's not a good reason and I really enjoyed doing this piece even if uh, well for me it was a little bit you know, when you have a limited palette, obviously it's sometimes difficult to get the exact colors you wanted, but it's a good exercise and I really enjoyed it. And again, I really feel lucky for the colors I got. I really wanted to thank Upgrade for being thoughtful and sent this box is early um, I was expecting to receive a December box in January because obviously um, deliveries are a bit chaotic at the end of December because well obviously Christmas and everything and uh, yeah it was really really thoughtful of them to do that and this is not the first time they shown to be thoughtful towards their clients um, and their subscribers. I remember the uh, Spectrum Noir pencil incident. Um, I didn't have any problem with them, but I remember some people did, and then they apologized in the next box by sending a gift, some uh, Spectrum Noir markers, I remember. And yeah, these kind of things I really, really appreciate in a company, and uh, yeah. I wanted just to, to say that and this box really had everything you can ask from a subscription box to me. It had something I wanted to try for a while 
the Windsor markers and something interesting and to me that was the Pigma BB pen and something really fun that was the pen touch fluorescent orange marker and um, a full pad of paper and not only that it also arrived a week early I mean what else can you ask? But as always, I'm curious to know what you thought about it. Did you like the box? What colors marker you received in it? And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. I would really love that. And for today's video, that's all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Have an amazing and creative rest of the day. Bye.